Welcome back guys to another GTA 5 Alice PDFR Patrol on the PC and boy do I have two brand new mods to show you guys. So first of all, as you can see right in front of me, we have some brand new pets in game. These are made by an upcoming modder called Fire Buzzard and I must say he's done some absolutely amazing work on some of these uh, ped models. So as we model the Met Vest, we've got an Axon uh, camera that actually lights up in the dark. We've got this uh, Sapporo radio which is the brand new radio the Met are using now. He's also got the accurate epaulettes, so Charlie November for the uh, North London Police District. We've also got Officer Needle Dick kitted out in the same equipment. So uh, Needle Dick's just standing there folding his arms, looking very serious. Taking this fairly um, nice evening patrol in Los Santos. I'm going to run to the garage now. I want to show you guys the brand new vehicle we're going to be using. You might have seen this in the thumbnail, but uh, we're going to have a closer look at it. So we enter the police garage. Hopefully, this car spawn does not crush my partner. Uh, let's see. MPS. Oops. Okay, so we got a few cars here. And if you notice now, we have a brand new Ford Transit in game. This is a 6 8 plate, so this is a literally the 6 9 plate, 20 plates. If you don't know what plates are, basically different year models for each car in the UK have different numbers on the registration plates. So 6 8 basically means late 2018. It also means late 2019 if it's 6 9. It's exactly the same as the 6 9 version, but yeah. This is a brand new uh, Ford Transit prisoner transport van done by Joe Kremen, and he's done a lot of my uh, Met cars recently to a decent standard as well. Oh my gosh, that is the best time to actually crash the scripts now, isn't it? So I'm probably going to start off in another station because for some reason, whenever I um, do a start a patrol in this police station for some reason, it crashes. Well, the LSPDFR crashes, or people just randomly sink it to the ground. So <laughs> I don't know what's causing that, but it's crazy. But like I said, excellent brand new mods to use in the game, and I'm so excited to use them in today's patrol. So, without further ado, let's get started. I had to disable super uh, events because I think that was what's causing the uh, cr the LSPDFR crash when I checked the LSPDFR log. So, unfortunately, won't be using that in this episode. But there are plenty of other mods that I want to use in this. I'm going to show you guys. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Brand new sirens in game. Well, they're not new anymore. They've used them since 2012, I think. But yeah, standard Met Police stuff. Hello, what's this car doing here? Hello, hello, hello. What the hell is that? There's a woman standing on top of a car. Hello there, you alright? Is this some kind of, some kind of pe protest or something? Okay, she's not doing anything. I'm gonna get out there and speak to her. What's happening here, man? This should be fun. Hmm? Okay, I went. Oh, what the hell? The pet is alive. Try asking them for the ID. I did not open that door. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the vehicle. Off the vehicle. Of course I, took that way. I don't know what drugs you're on, mate, but uh, let's see your ID. Kiflam. I don't know why they say Kiflam. I swear it's an inside joke from the LSPDFR guys. Um, so yeah, let's see. Do you have any drugs? Do anything illegal? No money, no drugs. Drinking. Uh, let's see. Okay. Where did you come from? From work, where you're headed to. You better not ram into my... Oh, whoa. Do you see that taxi over there, guys? Just a shame we're dealing with this strange woman at the moment. But yeah, that's GTA for you. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to dismiss her. I'm in a good mood. You can oh my gosh. Second time in a row. I can't believe it. Look at some dodgy stuff going on right there. I'm getting the hell out of this area before something else happens. Because I do not like what just happened there. That that car can just stay there for all I care. I'm getting out of this area. Okay. I don't know what happens to that police station either. But let's take the reds off as well. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the, um, the content recently. I took a little bit of a break on Monday and Sunday. Because I put a lot of videos out there and... I was working on an advert for one of my videos as well, so I had to keep making sure that it conformed to their standards so that they're happy with it. And I think it was a good decision because I've come back and there's some nice new mods in game. I'm going to check if I'm available for calls. Yes, I am now. Let's go get our first call. We've got a suspicious vehicle. Okay, so there's a suspicious vehicle parked on the side of the road. Got no further information. I'm going to get there quickly, but obviously not you know, driving too slowly either. We're going to expect this vehicle and see what's happening. Because it could be vandalism, it could be... Oh 
God, you didn't even know, to be honest. Let's take a right turn. Probably an abandoned vehicle after a pursuit of some sorts. Okay, stand by, we're in the area. That car looks a bit dodgy. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 what is that? That car looked fine, and as soon as I got next to it, it just looked like it was ready to explode. <laughs> oh, that's a nice addition. Actual rear red lighting. Yeah, stand by, what is this vehicle doing? Can I read the registration plate out? Um, no, I can't. Okay. Well, let's just see that vehicle check anyway, just for the sakes of it. Um, Target vehicle license oh, there's plate. the plate. Union Here's Frank a stolen vehicle. Zebra, King, Mary, and if we can go search vehicle. the vehicle, to then I'm going to have a look caution. at it. A silencer. A MacBook Pro laptop. Okay, so someone's left a... Do you know what? That sounds quite dodgy. A laptop could control a bomb or something. Like You never know. What else should we do here? Doesn't seem to be any witnesses in the area nearby. Actually, there is. There's a woman over there. I can speak to her. Okay, let me just leave my van there. Let's go speak to this... Um, is it a woman? Is it a man? You don't know these days. Come on, needle dick. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. It's a guy. All right, fella. How's he, how you doing? Do you know anything about that car over there? Why it's mysteriously shaped like uh, the back of someone's head? Um, see if I can stop him. Okay, let's question him. All right, all right, mate. Yeah, we just want to ask some questions. Hey. Okay, doesn't want to speak to me. Let's have a look. Uh, question pads. Let's see. Do you live in this neighbourhood? No, I don't. Okay, I'm not even any text down there. Gosh. Um, do you own that vehicle? Gosh, man, there's no text at the bottom. I'm actually freaking out now. Like, Losus Jail, and now this. What the hell? Okay, buddy, um, he has nothing to say. Okay, no worries. Uh, be on your way then, mate. Oh, I'm not sure, I'll mate. Bloody hell, people are friendly in this area, aren't they? Chingalo! Okay. Alright, um, yeah, Met Control. Um, no information about this vehicle at the moment. Uh, seems like there was only one possible witness and he didn't have any information about it. I'm going to treat this as a interesting situation. You might want to take the car back to the impound. Check it for fingerprints and such, and forensics, because there's nothing really else I can do in this situation. Okay, you can let go of your radio now. That's good. Right, why is this handleman's taser? Let's see. Request a tow truck. Let's take a flatbed to... Uh, to take this car away to the impound. Okay, Needle Dick, that was quite interesting, wasn't it? He's not saying anything, so obviously it wasn't very interesting to him. Okay, so you guys can see now, because I know you love the little details in this game. Yeah, there we go. Got the car taken to the impound, it's going to be inspected for police evidence, and we'll get back in the van and just go back on call, so yeah, 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 yeah. Vehicle hit and run. Oh, I like those calls. Let's go. Okay, emergency, emergency, emergency. We've got a vehicle hit and run. Come on, Officer Needle Dick, let's go. Let's get to van on the other side of the road. Two-point turn. I thought it was going to U-turn it. I'm going to follow my GPS even though it looks closer on my map because I do trust the road systems will probably get me there. Yep, we're above a road so yeah, I'll have to take the long way round. Oops, 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 my bad.
What? I suppose that happens. We get told to stand down. Uh, oh, okay, there's an error. Damn it. That was embarrassing. I was looking forward to that call out. I guess we'll have to do another one. Robbery. Okay, right that now. should be all right. Um, okay, suspect fled on foot. Let's go to that one instead. I mean, you know, when you're responding to a call in real life, sometimes you will get asked to stand down, so I can totally understand that. A nice cheeky way of hiding the bug as well. I respect that. Oop, I hate it when it does that. When I when I slow down, I use my indicators and then my character starts aiming. I don't know why that happens. No idea. Alright, stand by when the area. That guy was speaking so fast. Okay, we've got a female here. What is she saying? She give us an information about the robber. I think I've done this call before. It was like a guy that got robbed by the um, main part of the city. Alright, let's get part of the van here. Alright, we're on scene. What's going on here, man? You good? We got a call for a 207 last week. The girl called 911 because she was mad at her boyfriend. Alright, there's not even any text there. <laughs> That's annoying. Suspect described as white male, I see one male wearing green cargo pants and a vest. Okay, well let's take a guess get a taxi for this woman because she's obviously not feeling very safe here. Um Don't make me kill you, asshole. Alright, what we're gonna do is get a taxi for you, okay? What? Come on. Alright, you're definitely not hurt then, yeah? Okay, that's good. She wasn't touched or hurt or anything by the guy, he just grabbed her purse and ran, so she's a bit shooken up. Uh, we'll get victim, victim support over to our house um, sh shortly enough anyway, so we'll have to worry about leaving her like that. Just make sure she safely gets into the taxi. Okay, let's go uh, search for this guy. So he's wearing green cargo pants, I believe. Come on, little dick. Where are you? Where is Officer Needle Dick? Where is, oh, is he going off on his own tangent? What What is he doing? That's a blue blip there. I'm pretty sure that's him. Oh, I just knocked a side over by running over it. Come on, Needle Dick, let's go searching for this fella. Sorry, mate. I'm going to have to get past here. Thank you. Uh huh. This, this is an interesting place. It's like a ghetto in its own right, isn't it? We're beginning of the search for the suspect. Some real police work going on here. This is the type of call that I like. You know, it's interesting. You never know where you're going to find the suspect or not. And you're going to actually go through areas and stuff. And yeah, they're complaining about me being in their backyard right now, but they're going to do that. Um, might have to get inside the van and have a look around this area because they might be in that scrapyard park over there too. Alright, needle dick, rally up. We're going to get back in the van. That's the way I'm legging it through this neighborhood. Oh, mm. poor little taxi can't get out of the way. Isn't that cute? Well, let's begin the search for this guy. That person in front looks a bit suspicious. Was wearing green cargo pants there, wasn't he? Uh, what the hell? Why did that blip go? Oh man, I can't believe it. This call out failed as well. <laughs> that is cringeworthy. I can't believe it. Okay, uh, this guy looks a bit like the suspect, though, doesn't he? No, mate, do you want to stop for us, please? Let's Thank you. You right there? What the hell is your problem? Yes, yeah, so we had to be honest guys, I would You're I would Oh whoa, okay. What are you doing? You don't assault an officer like that. Give me your ID. Kiflom. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Don't you dare push me like that again, okay? Alright. 
to be fair guys this guy looks a bit it sounds a bit like the person that was in the description and he pushed me so yeah oh yeah do you know what it's no point me asking questions i realize this game's not giving me answers is it all right we're going to search you because we have suspicion to believe that you've been uh, robbing someone on the other side of town not in town the other side of this block Blotter pens, knuckle dusters, and terrorist markets. Okay, knuckle dusters is definitely an offensive weapon, so I'll ask you to turn around. And uh, I'm going to place you under arrest for carrying an offensive weapon and on suspicion of uh, robbery. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defense. If you fail to mention anything, one question, something you should later rely on court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. Right, get inside that. This is the time to actually check how this van <laughs> works with the prisoner transport stuff. Because I am—I I gave the guy that Kremina did the van. I gave him the cage from my uh, transit, my other transit, so he was able to put it in this um, vehicle. And ah, oh, the rear doors don't open. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, apart from that, he's inside the van, which is good. Right, let's get inside the van. Take it to the station. Okay, needles like you can get inside the van. We're going to take this guy to the station. We're going to book him in, and we're going to go some um, get Detective uh, Dickinson to interview him. Detective Dickinson and Detective Luther, uh, DCI Luther. Sorry. If you guys are wondering what ENB I'm using, I'm actually not using an ENB at all. This is GTA 5 stock settings. It must be just because I have a decent computer. <clears throat> Shadow. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane, aren't I? My bad. Yeah, cheeky. We book this guy in. There's a jail slot just on the other side of this um, parking place. Over here. Here we go. So, let's see. Pass him over to the cop because I've never escorted him myself, and judging on how this patrol's gone so far, I don't want to try it either. <laughs> oh, the doors do open and close. That fair play. So D DC uh, Dickinson's going to interview him and uh, ask a few questions and we're going to get the, uh, the victim to come in as well and she's going to identify him. But yeah, that's us done for today. Let's go do another call out. Units nope, not doing that one. On, uh, Organised crime uh, members Olympic spotted. Freeway. I'm not going to take that call. Hospital security Roger request police assistance. Way. Okay, that could never be more relevant than now. See, so hospital, the hospital are already inundated with patients, and somebody, someone's actually fighting at the moment. So two people are fighting security. They've triggered an alarm, and we're going to head there um, as the uh, quick access response. Yeah, stand by map control, we're on scene. You guys get to see the lovely security officers that I modelled as well, with the complete with the UK armbands and everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, police on scene. Cut it out. Both of you stop. You too. Yeah, need to look, you take care of him, I'm gonna take care of this guy. We need some backup over here. Stop running! He's gone into a back alley. By the motorway. Uh oh. By the motorway. Alright, backup's here. Backup's here. Stop running! Stop running! Stop running! Sorry, Natasha. I see three male running Innocence Boulevard. Oh, I hate it when I try to aim at them and they run away. Hi, Dad. How are you?
are you? Police! On the ground. Right, male in custody. Oh, I just called a police van for him. I just realized I am the police van. Oh well, I guess uh, we're a bit too far away from my vehicle anyway, so what the hell. Whoa, Corsa, watch out. Come on, you idiots. Oh, there's a second person running. Second person running. There's the guy. Oi! On the ground. Second male in custody. I don't know if this is the same guy that was fighting, but he was running from us and there was a blip in him, so I decided to stay on the safe side regarding this. On the ground. Right, this I'm gonna uh, this guy I am gonna take to the station myself because yeah, let's go take him. Right, let's go take him to the side and pat him down first. Officer Needle Dick is with me. Thank you, buddy. Right. Okay. Let's uh, request a pet check for this guy as well. Jer Jeremy Speed. Um. He's got suspended driver license, but we don't care about that because he's not driving a car. Bag of brown powder and a condom. You're coming with me. Right, where is the hospital? Let's go fly over there. Good old flyover. Oh, did not mean to press that. Whoa, we actually pursued this guy for a while, didn't we? <laughs> the hell? All the way over here, wasn't it? Yeah, this place. Fair enough. Okay, security guard seems to have fled. I don't know how that works, but okay. Alright, uh, mate, um, here you go. Yeah, inside the vehicle, please. Thank you. Here's your taxi. Oops, 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 oops. Big oof. Remember, this van is a work in progress, so none of you guys complain about the doors, okay? Let's go to the Losus Jail. <laughs> Losus Jail! Whatever that frickin' means. It always bugs my game up and stops me talking to people as well. If I find out what mod is causing that, I'm gonna kill it with fire. No, just joking, I'm gonna remove it and hope that the people update it. I think I lost Officer Needle Dick, by the way, because I can't find him anywhere. Alright, guys, we're going to do one more call out for this patrol because I say so. Yeah, no, that's a stupid reason because uh, it's quite—I don't know—it's a little bit buggy today, and it's a fun—it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, yeah. Who knows, will the game even last another call out? We do not know. But I need to get uh, Officer Noodle Dick with me because Needle Dick's done a runner. So let's go over here, get out of my vehicle. Oh. oh, there's another police van over there, fair enough. Right, this is what you do, you get good old ultimate back up there. And we've got Noodle Dick on board. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, he sounded so strange. Car fire. Let's go respond to that. Get in, can needle dick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, you're getting in the back? What the? Oh, you idiot. <laughs> needle dick's even stupider than needle dick. Seriously? Oh my gosh, this car fire is from the hospital as well. Wherever we are pursuing that suspect. Yeah, mech control, stand by, stand by, we've got the vehicle fire in front of us, there's a vehicle on fire. Um, yeah, I'm closing this road off if I can. Let's get out of the, out of the van. Oh, there's someone burning, I might have to just quickly think about... Have I got a fire extinguisher on me? Weapon options... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm grabbing a C-19 purely because it's got a fire extinguisher on it. Yeah, I want London Fire Brigade over here immediately. 
Oh, there you are, Needle Look and Natasha. What the hell have you guys been doing? Don't you dare walk into the fire again. This does happen in real life, you know. You get traffic officers that manage to put the fire out before the fire brigade turn up. So, yeah, that's interesting. I guess. And here's the LFB. Come on, guys, you got a bit of a brush fire here. Slightly concerned. Come on, you're the experts. Do your thing. Don't follow me. Do your thing, you idiots. Come on. It's your partner over here. Should be copying him. Oh, whoa. I was almost about to discharge some gunshots because my fire extinguisher ran out. Well, let's do some police business and take this area off. Got an incident over here. I, I'm, unfortunately, that person's BMW is not going to be driving anytime soon. Uh, wait, get out of the way, you idiot. Get out of the way, Fireman Sam. I'm trying to place police tape here. Can you see? Huh? Closing off this road, too. What the? Okay, I don't know how that works, but that was a very interesting way to place a police... Oi! Get away, Fireman Sam, okay? I told you, you useless idiot. You're fighting the fire, you idiot. Not just hanging around getting in the way. Yep. There we go, he's doing his job now. He's have knocked some sense into him. But well, we close this road off so this area is safe. I'm gonna man this cordon over here, make sure no one gets past it. And the water fairies will be uh, dealing with the fire over there on Fudge Lane. This is really good. I've gotta say shout out to the guy that did fire call outs. Really good call out, I've gotta say. I mean even as playing as a police officer it's really fun because you get to call the fire brigade and close the area off and everything. Alright heroes, good job. There's a little bit more fire over here, just to be a bit of a prick and remind you guys. That thing is gonna spread, it's not gonna go out by itself. Ah, oh, okay, I'm out of I'm out of um I'm out of fire uh, extinguish the thingy, whatever. Max ammo, okay, let's go put this up myself then. You want something done? Do it yourself. Okay, good job guys, thank you, GG. Alright, I guess we can call a tow truck to remove whatever this mess is. And unfortunately this person is going to wake up and then realise the car's on fire. Well, you're not going to wake up, but you know. You get the, sorry Natasha, you get, the, you, get the, you get the idea. Okay. Right, thank you for joining the patrol guys. I'm glad that you, um, you enjoyed this patrol. I mean, if you didn't, then, you know, too bad, but... Glad you guys enjoyed it, and uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Keeps the channel alive. A sub a day keeps the, um, keeps the, I don't know, keeps the boredom away. Yeah, thank you for um, watching, guys. I will see you guys soon in another video. Till then, stay tuned.